Imagine never having to charge your device again. Is it possible? In this fast-paced world where technology is king, we often find ourselves tethered to charging cords and power banks. But what if there was a way to break free from these shackles? What if your device could run on a battery that never dies? It sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But today we're delving into a technology that promises just that, the nuclear battery. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of this never-charged technology. Welcome to the realm of nuclear batteries, the power source of the future. Our journey begins in the mid-20th century at the height of the atomic age. The concept of nuclear batteries or radioisotope thermoelectric generators was first conceived during this time. The goal? To create a power source that could outlast conventional batteries by decades, even centuries. Now you might be thinking, nuclear isn't that dangerous? Well, yes and no. Nuclear batteries don't involve nuclear reactors, meltdowns or mushroom clouds. Instead, they harness the natural decay of radioactive isotopes, such as plutonium-238 to generate heat. This heat is then converted into electricity through thermocouples, providing a steady, reliable source of power. But where are nuclear batteries used, you might ask? The answer is probably farther than you think. They've powered space probes like Voyager and Cassini on their epic journeys beyond the outer planets. Closer to home, they've been used in pacemakers, ensuring a reliable heartbeat for those in need. However, the potential applications of nuclear batteries are far more extensive. Imagine a world where remote sensors in the Arctic, robotic deep-sea explorers, or even your own smartphone could be powered indefinitely without the need for recharging. That's the promise of nuclear batteries. Of course, the road to widespread adoption of nuclear batteries isn't without its challenges. There are concerns about safety, the handling of radioactive materials, and the current high cost of production. But with the rapid advancements in technology and material science, many believe these challenges can be overcome. So what's the bottom line? Nuclear batteries are a powerful, long-lasting source of energy that could revolutionize our approach to power generation and consumption. They could take us places where conventional power sources simply can't. From the depths of our oceans to the furthest reaches of our solar system. Sounds complex? Let's break it down to understand better. Delving into the science, nuclear batteries work on the principle of nuclear decay. But before we get into that, let's demystify this term nuclear decay. It's a process that occurs naturally in the nuclei of certain atoms, usually those of heavy elements like uranium or plutonium. Over time, these atoms shed particles in a bid to become stable. This shedding is what we refer to as decay, and it releases a lot of energy. Now imagine if we could harness this energy. That's exactly what a nuclear battery does. It captures the energy released during nuclear decay and converts it into electricity. This process is a lot different from the one in conventional batteries, which rely on chemical reactions to generate power. So how does a nuclear battery convert decay energy into electricity? It uses something known as a thermocouple. Picture a thermocouple as a heat engine, but on a much smaller scale. When one side of the thermocouple gets heated by the energy from the decaying atoms, it creates a temperature difference. This difference stimulates the movement of electrons from the hot side to the cooler side, generating an electric current. Now this might make you wonder, if nuclear batteries generate electricity from decay, do they ever run out of juice? The answer to that lies in the half-life of the radioactive material used. Half-life is the time it takes for half of the radioactive atoms in a sample to decay. For instance, the half-life of plutonium-238, commonly used in nuclear batteries, is over 87 years. This means a nuclear battery using plutonium-238 could potentially provide power for nearly a century. However, it's not as simple as it sounds. The decay process generates a lot of heat, which can be challenging to manage. Moreover, the use of radioactive materials raises concerns about safety and disposal. These are some of the challenges that scientists and engineers are working to overcome to make nuclear batteries a practical and safe power solution. What's fascinating is that despite these challenges, nuclear batteries have been powering devices where longevity and reliability are crucial. Think about space probes like Voyager and New Horizons traveling vast distances over many years. They've been running on nuclear batteries, their silent powerhouses, for decades. 
So nuclear batteries are not just a concept, but a technology that's been quietly powering some of the most ambitious explorations of humanity. By harnessing the power of nuclear decay, they offer a promise of long-lasting, reliable power, a stark contrast to the short-lived power of conventional batteries. Now that we've understood the workings, let's explore the pros and cons. Like any technology, nuclear batteries come with their own set of advantages and disadvantages. Let's dive into the fascinating world of nuclear batteries and explore these pros and cons. Starting off with the benefits, nuclear batteries are known for their incredibly long lifespan. They can keep going for decades, even centuries, without needing a recharge. This is because they harness the power of radioactive decay, a process that happens naturally and consistently over very long periods. If you're looking for a power source that can outlive you, nuclear batteries might just be your answer. Along with their longevity, nuclear batteries also boast a constant power output. Unlike conventional batteries, their performance doesn't degrade over time. They can deliver the same level of energy on day 1000 as they do on day one. This makes them an ideal choice for powering long-term mission-critical applications from deep space probes to undersea equipment. Now let's switch gears and talk about the downsides. Safety concerns are the most prominent issue when it comes to nuclear batteries. They use radioactive material which can pose a significant risk if not handled correctly. Strict regulations and stringent safety measures are required to manage this risk, which leads us to another drawback, the high cost. Nuclear batteries are expensive to manufacture, mainly due to the stringent safety measures and regulatory compliance involved. Moreover, the materials used in these batteries, like plutonium-238, are rare and costly. This makes nuclear batteries an investment that's out of reach for most everyday applications. Weighing the pros and cons, one might wonder where do we stand today in terms of utilizing this technology? As we move forward, it's crucial to remember that the value of any technology lies not just in its potential benefits, but also in our ability to manage its risks and challenges. The story of nuclear batteries is still being written, and only time will tell where it leads us. The concept of nuclear batteries is not new, yet their widespread use seems distant. You see, nuclear battery technology, while promising, is still in its nascent stages. Today, the applications of these batteries are limited, primarily due to their size and safety concerns. For instance, they're used in some spacecraft and remote weather stations, where recharging conventional batteries is not feasible. But what about the future? Well, researchers are constantly exploring ways to make nuclear batteries smaller, safer and more efficient. Projects are underway to develop nuclear batteries for use in electric cars and other high-demand applications. Imagine a world where your car runs for years without needing a recharge. The possibilities are genuinely exciting. However, there are challenges to overcome. The handling and disposal of radioactive materials pose significant safety concerns, plus the high cost of production makes nuclear batteries currently impractical for everyday use. But don't be disheartened. Remember, every technological breakthrough was once just a dream. With advancements in material science and nuclear engineering, there's a good chance we might see nuclear batteries becoming more common in the future. In fact, some experts believe that the next 10 to 20 years could see a significant shift in how we power our devices. Nuclear batteries could very well be a part of that revolution, changing the way we think about energy consumption and storage. Knowing all this, it's fascinating to ponder. Could a never-charge future be closer than we think? So a world powered by nuclear batteries, a utopian dream or a foreseeable reality? We've delved into the intriguing world of nuclear batteries, uncovering how they work and their potential to revolutionize our energy landscape. Harnessing the immense power of nuclear reactions, these batteries could theoretically provide us with energy for years, even decades, without recharging. However, We've also confronted the challenges that stand in the way of this promising future. The risks associated with nuclear energy, the technical difficulties of miniaturizing nuclear reactors, and the regulatory hurdles are all substantial obstacles. Yet despite these challenges, the potential of nuclear batteries is undeniable. They represent a frontier of energy technology, one that could fundamentally change how we power our world. While the never-charge future still remains a tantalizing concept, the journey of exploration and innovation continues. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the world of nuclear batteries.